Uh, hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I wanted to show you a couple of GUI options uh, and demonstrate Tinkter, which is a uh, Python package for graphical user interfaces, GUIs, and uh, with Python 3. Now the version of Python I'm on is 3.61. So we're going to run a couple of demos. You can get all the links here. On top of, as I uh, need to refresh, um, in here you'll also find um, some, like I said, some demos here. And uh, let's get to it. Now, these are all the links of where to get all this. So, the first one I want to show you is this menu uh, GUI. And how that works is, uh, here's my directory. Now, if I run Python 3 with menu, it's a very simple little thing. Here, you can find uh, the window, uh, the menuing here, file, slave, exit, peon. And then, of course, when you look at the source code, it is pretty straightforward. So this again is the uh, URL, and here is the complete uh, pa uh, complete uh, source code. Pretty straightforward when you look at it. For the menuing, it's right here. Uh, this part right here, and it will execute these uh, separate functions uh, for you. So knowing what we know, um, not too difficult. You can set, obviously set your your window size here, your, the size of your canvas, and uh, I'm going to leave it at that. So that's one demo. Um, another demo I want to show was this um, Python uh, test tincter. I think I need tincter 2. Remember, I always run Python 3, not Python, because that will run Python 2.x 2. 2. or whatever. But Python 3 will run your Python 3 interpreter. So here we're just running a simple calculator, which is essentially this link right here. So all we're doing is the simple mathematical uh, little calculator with a little GUI in it. Okay, so um, let's check out that source code. So I believe that was a test this way. All right, this one's a little more involved. But once again here, you can define your labels. Um, and then do a calculation function. And then you could do a quit based upon what's in your menuing options. So as I've shown you before, but we also can add to the form these options to calculate, answer, uh, button options. So let's run this again and pay attention to the menuing because I didn't really, uh, oops. Okay. So you can see here, uh, the menu does work, exit edit oh. but we can definitely exit there you go okay the next demo I want to show is probably even a simpler one is uh, the original test tinker app I think it's just a hello world or something like that I guess I'm wrong uh, 
thing. Let's see. Um, we do have a number three. Let me just try that one. Yeah, so it's just another simple GUI. And uh, we have our um, different options here. I think these are the interpreter options. So if we run greet, you can see in the console it's got greetings and then close to quit. Exciting stuff, eh? Um, now I did show you the menu. These are simple options available through Tinkter and uh, I think uh, the, the code isn't too bad when you think about it. Now one last thing I want to show you is new plot. So if you got new plot and I'd probably go on my C++ video playlist where you'll find more demos of this. But the cool thing about it is um, if you do a new plot finance uh, Google search, what you'll find here are all the different um, ways you can interface with new plot. So you can definitely write and, and, and create some really sophisticated um, charts with uh, new plot and just run these commands in the console of new plot as such. Here, here's what I'm referring to right here. So let's just do the simple one. Oh, before I uh, run that, one other thing that you will need to pay uh, attention to is uh, the file, the data file for this finance data file. Now I've got a README, but actually you can just come to my posting here. Uh, I was hoping this would get updated. Ooh, okay. Not a problem. But in the posting, you will get um, the equivalent of what I'm about to show you. So in here, I've created a README, a new plot. But here is the link um, that I just showed you for the different data uh, for the different demo types or the gallery. Here is the um, data file of finance data that you can get, which kind of looks like this. It's just CSV data, really. Might be tab delimited for all I know. Um, so that's all you really want to do. So um, that you can get from that link I just showed you. So as a result, you can uh, generate a plot, as you would expect, something like this, very simple, and then um, have it get fed into Tinkter um, as a PNG. Now for live charting, Tinkter, I don't believe, is really built for that. But you can use um, new plot as a way to generate more um, plots and just refresh the uh, tincter every so often, maybe every second or so. It just depends upon your hardware and your refresh rate that you can handle on your cart. So that's pretty well the demos I want to show you for tincter. Very simple stuff, but the direction is just to feed into uh, a very simple a chart and or plot and the and I am using the uh, open all, all open source stuff with as much the licensing as is not as restricted if I did go with the Pi QT four or five because I I play with QT and for my research it really hasn't changed over the last uh, year or so so but Tinkter seems to have come around also there's another uh, charting library or GUI library for Python called WX. Excuse me, WX Python. And from what I researched, it's up to five, five times slower 
Um, so it might not be a wise option just stick with a tincture because tincture is like the standard um, uh, charting or a, a GUI library or package for standard Python it looks like. All right, so we'll leave it at that and uh, hope you have a good one. See you.